Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be heading over to the Cheesecake Factory. You guys are not gonna believe this, but in all my life, I have never ever gone to the Cheesecake Factory. And I remember when I was in high school, I went to LA High. Everyone would always talk about the Cheesecake Factory at the Grove and how they went there to eat and how they went there to celebrate a birthday or something. But I have never ever gone there in my whole life, which is crazy. But today's finally the day that I'm gonna go try the Cheesecake Factory. I'm gonna go see what the hype is all about. Is this place even good or not? And uh, I'm gonna be going to the one in Temecula. And something interesting that happened this week was that I saw that on Instagram, they showed that a moped got hit from the back by a car and there was all these other cars around there and nobody stopped to help the guy and i thought that was really sad i saw the video i'll probably be playing the video on the side right here so that you guys can see it but i thought that was sad that like oh there was like at least like what six cars there and like nobody pulled over to help hopefully somebody called 911 they did update the story that you know the person didn't get hurt or anything so that's good but i thought this was kind of sad and it tells us a lot about our society so if you guys see someone i mean it'd be pretty nice to help them i know i would but anyway let's go try out the cheesecake factory and see what it's all about and for those that don't know here goes the little baby <laughs> The Cheesecake Factory has over 1 million followers on Instagram and I don't think I've ever reviewed a place that has 1 million followers so this is kind of crazy you know a lot of people really like the Cheesecake Factory it just kind of makes me wonder why I personally never came here I mean everything looks good I'm looking at the pictures they got breakfast chicken and waffles huevos cheesecakes I mean drinks they looks like it has so many different things so like I'm not even sure what I'm gonna be in the mood for today which is a good thing it'll be like a little fun adventure but I'm kind of leaning towards pasta a little bit because my brother goes to the Cheesecake Factory all the time and he says that that's the best thing from here and I don't know if this ever happens to you guys but do you ever get bored of going to like the same locations and what I mean by this is like, do you ever get bored of going to like the same in and out for example? Like the same one in Culver City, the same one in Inglewood. I know I do. That's why sometimes I like to change it up. Sometimes I go to the in and out that's in Culver City, by LAX, by Huntington Park. Because sometimes I kind of like the journey that it takes to get to these places, you know. And I don't know if this happens to anybody. But if you're ever bored in LA and you feel like you want to get out and try somewhere new. I definitely recommend that you guys come to the Promenade Mall over here in Temecula. It's not that far from LA. It's about an hour, 40 minutes maybe, depending on traffic. But it kind of gets you away from the city and it gets you to explore new places. And the last time I actually came to this mall was during Christmas time last year. I was actually shopping and going to all the different malls all over the place to see what they had to offer. And I discovered this place and I really liked it, but unfortunately I never came back to it. But this mall right here has Red Robin, Lucio's, California Pizza, Yard House, Cheesecake Factory, a movie theater, and much, much more. So if you come here, then you can't go wrong. You know you're gonna have a blast going to these restaurants and checking out all the different stores and everything they have to offer. And you're gonna get away from LA. You know, you're gonna get a different atmosphere, which is what really is the point. And I don't know if anybody knew this, but Temecula Valley is actually home to Wine County. And I guess this means that this is where they make a lot of wines. And I actually didn't even know this because I'm not really a wine person. But I was looking at this painting right here and I was like, wow, that's actually kind of cool. I wonder if they do like tours for wine places right here in Temecula Valley. That'd be an interesting thing to look up. And look at this little fountain right there. They had little fishes with water on the inside, which is pretty neat. Like, you know, this is one of the nice things about exploring. You know, you see different locations, different attractions. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys that today I parked a little bit far away from the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, and I'm going to have to walk, you know, which is not bad. Así sirve que saco más hambre. But sometimes this happens, you know, make sure you guys take a look at the map before you park. That way you don't have to walk that much like I did today. But so far this mall is really nice, you know. I like going to the Grove and Fox Hills Mall, but every now and then it's nice to go on a little adventure, you know. There's this saying that sometimes says, uh, sometimes the journey is not about the destination, but about the journey that it takes to get there. Or something like that, you know, which is why it makes it kind of fun to go out and 
find all these different restaurants you know even though they're chains and you can find them all over the place i like exploring but this is the cheesecake factory and they have a huge location inside the mall they have outdoor dining right here outside of the mall they have indoor dining and it was packed it was full they actually have a wait list online and that way you get to skip it that way when you come you just check in and you don't have to wait which is what i did today i came i told the server my name and i basically got seated right away which was something pretty cool you made a little reservation i recommend you guys do that if you don't want to wait that much they also have a bunch of cheesecakes to sell here of course hence the name cheesecake factory which i didn't know actually you guys are not gonna believe me but i didn't know they sold cheesecakes here i actually kind of thought they just sold food that was made with like cheesecake ingredients but that just kind of goes to show you my ignorance when it comes to the cheesecake factory and this is the menu you guys today i was overwhelmed because i was not expecting the menu to be so humongous like look at all these pages you guys they had the story of the cheesecake factory they had so much to see they had sections for wine desserts cheesecakes pizzas appetizers burgers so much to choose from honestly i think you should take a look at the menu before you get here so that you don't get overwhelmed like i did today because de por si, I didn't even know what I wanted to order. And like, I got given this big menu with so much options, you know. And thankfully today, my server was so nice. I actually asked, like, what are the popular things that people order on the menu? And the server gave me the full rundown of the menu. So he definitely earned this tip today. I really like when servers do that. And to get started, we have some bread and butter right here. And my girl, she really liked the brown bread. She like tore it up as soon as they got here. She didn't even let me record it. So I guess that means that it's really good. And I did try the white bread, but the brown bread was a lot more better because it was soft. The white bread kind of was hard, so I didn't really like it that much. They gave you some butter and you opened your bread open and then you put the butter on the inside. But my girl, she loved it. And I ordered these appetizers. They're called the loaded baked potato tots. And they were just on point. It was basically potato tots with mashed potato on the inside, bacon, some vegetables. They gave you some creams on the side so that you could dip your tater tots in them. And I just loved them. These things were a great appetizer. So we're about to try these, uh, what were they called? Potato tots? I'm about to try these potato tots. I'm gonna put this ball in my mouth. Mm. It's hot. <laughs> And one of the reasons why I recommend this appetizer is because this plate is only $10. I believe it's one of the cheaper appetizers that they have, but it's actually really good. Take a look at the inside of the potato tot. It has mashed potatoes on the inside. It's got gravy, it's got sour cream. They give you some sriracha sauce. I really love the flavor. Like every time I was biting into it, I really enjoyed that mashed potato, that mushy feeling that you got inside of the potato tot. This was a great appetizer, I loved it. It was cheap and delicious. So right now they're asking me, what did I like about these loaded potato tots? So what I like about them is that they're soft and every time you take a bite of them, it almost tastes like you're eating mixed or mashed potato with some bacon and some green onion. And then the crust on the outside, it's a nice finishing touch. And for $10, they actually give you a lot. Like, I, I think it's a good appetizer. Like, si no te quieres llenar and you want something that's not too pricey, it's a good bargain. They're so good that my girl over here decided to eat them instead of the bread. She stopped eating the bread just to eat the potato tots. And I also decided to try the baked potato soup. And this thing was really good. If you're a fan of soups, you can't go wrong with this one. I like the way it tasted like mashed potatoes in the form of soup if that makes any sense and i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm a huge mashed potato lover i just love mashed potatoes so of course when you give it to me in a soup i'm gonna love it even more but definitely recommend it but it is a little pricey the soup is like eight dollars for this little plate so that's one of the things that does kind of suck and my girl today decided to order the parmesan herb crusted chicken and her chicken was actually really good the crusted chicken had a unique flavor to it like it was breaded and really soft the chicken here is actually really soft and the vegetables were also really good i really like the vegetables that they put on the side with the chicken it was a great combination the mashed potato again she's a mashed potato lover just like me so of course she ordered it this was the chicken my data and i ordered it because it was apparently the most popular thing on the menu and it even said it on the menu that it was the most popular thing it came with mashed potato and some vegetables on the side some mushrooms 
And one of the things that I loved was the chicken from here. I was a little hesitant to order the chicken, but I actually was really happy that I ended up ordering it because it was just something unlike I've ever tasted before. So if you're a chicken lover, if you want that protein, I definitely recommend that you order one of these two plates because they're really good. Me personally, I liked my plate a lot more because the little juice that you guys see on the bottom, the brown one, it gave the chicken a very unique flavor. So I'm done eating and uh, I couldn't finish my plate. The plates here are really big. So I took a to-go plate. This one, uh, what I couldn't finish, it's for tomorrow. And one of the things that I really liked about my plate was the chicken. I like the chicken because the chicken doesn't taste like the chicken from any other place. It has its own unique flavor. It's soft, it's juicy. It has its own unique taste from Cheesecake Factory. So that's one of the things that I like. So if you're a person and you come here and you're like, oh, I don't want to order chicken because I always eat chicken. Well, guess what? The chicken from here, it doesn't taste like any other chicken. So I recommend it. And today, after I was done eating, I did go shopping. I went over to JCPenney and I bought a bunch of baby clothes. I am expecting my baby pretty soon. So I'm really excited. Me and my girl, we went outfit picking and we picked out so many different outfits for our little baby. We're so excited to have her in our life and she's coming soon, pretty soon. And we're excited, scared, but mostly excited, you know? We look at all these outfits and we're like, dang, I wonder what she's gonna look like inside of the outfits. It's such a shame that she's gonna outgrow them so quickly, but we just gotta take pictures and enjoy the moment. And this yellow one is actually my favorite of the day. And of course, I ended the night by going to get my car washed so it can be nice and clean all weekend because it was kind of rainy and the weather was just all over the place. On Yelp, the Cheesecake Factory has three stars with 784 reviews. I think that the ratings for this place are a little bit on the lower side. I would give this place like a five because I had a good time today. One of my favorite things was that the server today made my visit very enjoyable. I walked in and I was like, hey, look, man, I'm a noob. I've never been here. Tell me what do people pick the most? Give me the top three options of like the plates that are most ordered. And the server literally went down every section, the appetizer menu, the pasta menu, the burger menu. And he picked one thing that was the most popular. And he was like, this is what I recommend. This is what gets sold the most. And I really like that because not a lot of servers go above and beyond to give you that service, you know? So that was one of my favorite things today. Of course, the food, it was really good. I love the chicken from here, the soup, the tater tots, the bread, everything was on point. I'll definitely be coming back to the Cheesecake Factory to try different things from the menu. I did want to try cheesecake today because of course that's the name of the restaurant, but I just couldn't. I had so much food that I was full at the end. So I, I just didn't have room for dessert, but it'll be for the next time I come here. Maybe I'll visit a different Cheesecake Factory to see if I get a different experience, to see if the food is different. How about the service? Is the service different in Temecula than like in LA? That's gonna be pretty interesting to find out, right? But if you enjoyed going on this little adventure with me, make sure you hit that delicious like button down below. And also make sure to subscribe. I post two new videos every single week showing you guys some awesome places you're gonna wanna check out. This was Del Fox Checks, and I approve of the Cheesecake Factory.